First off, what are NixOS modules? And what is the anatomy of a NixOS module? Before you can understand NixOS, you have to really understand NixOS modules, what they are, what they do, and why you use them. They're at the core of NixOS. Uh, you may be familiar with the configuration.nix. If you've been watching my tutorial series, you should be at this point. And you'll notice that everything is configured through that one configuration file. What a NixOS module is, is it converts what you've put in the configuration file, or rather it tells NixOS how to convert what you've put in the configuration file to the native configuration format of whatever it is you're configuring, whether it's like your bootloader, network settings, users, passwords, enabling system services like SSH and your X server, everything. Everything you put in your configuration file essentially references, references a NixOS module that explains to NixOS how what you've put in there translates into what the application expects in its standard configuration. So let's take a look at a template for a module. This is for configuring an application that requires a config file or a system service that either requires arguments passed by systemd or a configuration file as well. It starts off pretty simple. You'll see this at the top of basically every uh, NixOS module. And it's pretty much the same thing, config, lib, packages, and dot, dot, dot. That just means import whatever else, since this is always going to be used as part of another configuration, like your configuration.nix. This is just saying pull in everything else that it needs to pull in from there. And then the next section we have let config cfg equals config.services.appname. This is if we're configuring a system service. And if you're doing just a basic program that doesn't require a systemd service, you would use config programs.appname. And then this is the part where we define a config file, which is going to be packages.write text, is the helper function that actually writes what you want to the config file. And it'll be appname.conf, since appname is the name of our pretend application here. And in this case, it's going to be a simple key equals value file. So a setting equals is exactly what would appear in the configuration file. And config option text would be the value that we set in our NixOS configuration. So in this case, it would be option text equals and then something in your NixOS config. And another setting down here has two string because it's an integer. So you can see these down here. This is option text is the name of our variable, which is also the name of our option we're going to set in our configuration.nix. lib mk option. This is a helper function that defines we're making an option now for our module. We've got to define what type of variable it is. In this case, it's a string. Default is the default value. So if it's not set in your configuration.nix, this will specify what it assumes. And description is just a description as always. And same down here, only it is an integer. So we defined a number instead of some text. And we tell it it's an integer. Now up here, this is the most where we define the name of it, of our app here, and the enable function. You always, if it's a service, it's always going to have an enable function. If it's an app, not necessarily. And then package equals this section here defines the default package this module ties to. So if you were to set options for this and set the enable for it and everything, it would assume that you need this module installed. You can actually, in some cases, you could specify a different module. For instance, if you're running one from an unstable channel, this allows you to override the default package that it'll be associated with. And down here at the bottom is where we configure our system service. So config lib mkif, this is how NixOS does an if statement. And what's this saying is this, if config enable is set to true, which in a NixOS configuration file looks something like this, flatpak enable equals true, then that means it's going to set up the systemd service. Systemd service app name, the description, and this is all just regular systemd stuff, like 
it's needed by and when you start it after the service config, the exec start. Instead of putting a full path, we're going to use config.package because NixOS will have it in its Nix store somewhere and you don't always know where that's going to be. So this defines the path and then bin and then the app name. And in this case, we're going to pass the app name config file, which is the path to our config file in the Nix store and restart always just another standard systemd option there. So this is the very basics of a NixOS module. In my previous tutorial, we set up a NixOS package for this application from my GitHub, like my cloud DDNS service. So now let's convert this template into a module for that application that we created. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and find every instance of app name and rename it to cloud.d-ddns since that's the name of the application. And since it's a service, not a program, we'll take out the lines for the program. As you can see, it's linking to the package. So we'll add a description. We'll just go and copy and paste the one from GitHub. Now the options that it's passed are actually, we need port, actually IP address. So we'll just do IP ADDR and then port, since this is just gonna be the IP address and the port that we pass to it. The default will be 7.0.0.1 and the default port will be 8080. And we'll add the descriptions. Now this one doesn't use a config file, so we can actually just remove that from our config there. And we also don't need that. But what we are going to need to do is we're going to need to reference these options down here in the line that actually executes the package. So we'll do that kind of the same way cfg dot ip addr because it wants the ip address as the first option and then we're going to do two string because it is an integer not not a string and we need to pass a string on the command line and config dot port and I'm pretty sure I forgot a quote or a semicolon because up here is red, but we'll find out soon enough. There it is. It's a quote. So now we'll save our file. And we'll just copy the module template that we just saved to call it cloud-dtns.nix. And now let's add that to our configuration. How do we do that? We go up here to our imports. You'll almost always have one of these. Even if you're running in a container or something, it's usually gonna be importing your hardware or some LXC related stuff, etc. So we'll put in our path and then cloud-dbns.nix. That's the one we just created. So we'll go and we've already installed the application here. It's showing up in there. Let me get rid of this line too. But Cloud DDNS package is already being installed. So let's make sure it's there. Yep. Services. Cloud dash DDNS enable. That's true. We'll save that. Now let's do a NixOS rebuild switch. And it's gonna rebuild our system with installing the Cloud DDNS app as well as setting up the module for it. So and there we go, it's running as a system service. So we should see it listing there. And there we go. Perfect. 
Thanks for watching.